Good afternoon. First at four, I'm Karen Drew with breaking news out of Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Police have been swarming around Fort Lauderdale's airport after reports multiple people have been shot at least five dead. Right now, the scene is chaotic. Rod Maloney is tracking all the latest developments. He is in the local four satellite center. So Rod, do we know how many shooters there were? They are saying right now that it was one single shooter, a man 26 years old who flew from uh, from Canada. We're not sure exactly where yet, but he was on an Air Canada flight down to uh, Fort Lauderdale and apparently had checked this gun on into his luggage and picked up his bag from the baggage claim and then sat down for a while, went into a bathroom and then just started shooting at people. He had 13 people hit. There were five dead now. There are eight people who are injured and in the hospital. And it, chaos doesn't even begin to cover this. In, in many areas around the airport, as we've seen all afternoon, people have been ordered to stay behind police cars. They've been told to come out of places going across the tarmac and the police are telling them to put their hands in a position where they can be seen as non-threatening. So you're seeing people coming out of places like rail yards and the airport uh, tarmac with their hands up or, or, or praying and things like that. It's, it's incredibly chaotic business out there today. Um, we heard from Scott Israel, who was the Broward County Sheriff, and he had this to say about the shooting, the shooter near the baggage claim on level two of the terminal two and uh, he talks about how they were able to apprehend the shooter. Right now we're taking, uh, this scene is considered fluid and active. We have uh, the shooter in custody. Uh, he's uh, unharmed, no law enforcement fired any shots. The subject is being interviewed by a team of FBI agents and Broward Sheriff's Office homicide detectives. NBC News is saying that it's a gentleman by the name of Esteban Santiago who's under arrest. He had a 9 millimeter handgun. They say that he was indiscriminately shooting into the crowd and he shot until he ran out of ammunition and gave himself up when the police actually came up and approached him. They did not shoot him, as you just heard. There's much more to talk about here, much more to tell you about. We're getting video in from Fort Lauderdale. We'll have full coverage on Local 4 News at 5 and again at 6 o'clock. So reporting live from the Satellite Center, Rod Maloney, Local 4. All right, we'll be checking back with you at at five. Meanwhile